Hi, I'm Gavin Hoey and you're watching the Technique of the Month from Digital Photo Magazine. This month we're giving away a whole bunch of 3D templates on the cover CD and I'm going to show you how to use them. So I'm starting off with cube number one template and onto that I'm going to put some images. Now I went out and took some nice autumn pictures and whilst I was out I picked up a few leaves, bought them home and re-photographed them and it's these I'm going to use. Now because I've chosen a cube shape template I need to crop these images down so they are exactly square. And we do that by using the crop tool and just dragging a crop out. But whilst we do it I'm holding shift on the keyboard. And by holding shift I can only make a perfect square. Put it in the right place, click the tick and it crops the image down. So now I've got a template and I've also got a leaf image on the screen. To combine these two together I'm going to get the move tool and drag the leaf over and onto the cube template. There you go. I can close down the leaf, I don't need that anymore. But the new leaf doesn't really fit over the template so here comes the clever bit. Let's go up to image, transform and distort. When we select that we get these little boxes that appear at each corner of our, our leaf image and now I can drag those boxes around and stretch and twist this leaf until it fits neatly onto our cube template, like so. But the really tricky bit is getting it to line up perfectly. So here's another little tip. If you're using a mouse that's got a scroll wheel, you can zoom in by twisting the zoom the, the scroll wheel, like so. And when you do, you can go in nice and close and move it perfectly into position. Now to move around the image, another neat shortcut is to press and hold the spacebar. When you hold the spacebar down, it changes to the hand tool. When you let go, it returns to the distort tool, like so. And we can move around until we get each of these corners neatly onto the template. And it's important to get it done now because it's not something that you can really go and change later on. So you want to get this as neat as you possibly can. When you're happy, click the tick. And we'll fit that back onto the screen by double clicking the hand tool. There you go, there's one side of our cube. OK, let's add another leaf in. And it's the same technique. We'll get the crop tool and we'll hold shift on the keyboard as we drag the crop out. Click the tick when you're happy and there's a perfectly square image. Add that on with the move tool to the template. Close down the original and do a bit of transformation. Image, transform and distort. Now I think this is going to make the top of the cube so we'll just pop it roughly into position like so. And let's bring these lower ones in. Whoops nearly and just this one to go there we are and again we'll just try and tidy it up by zooming in with the scroll wheel on the mouse make a bit more room for myself and we can go in and have a good close look and line it up neatly that looks okay move around with the hand tool and you can zoom around until you get it just where you want it like so Ooh, nearly off. Again, get it right now because changing it later is particularly tricky. Click the tick when you're happy. Double click the hand to fit it onto the screen. Two down, one to go. So the third leaf of the series is this one. And we'll use the crop tool once again, holding shift as we crop, like so. And make sure we've got it all in there. Click the tick. There we go, and get the, uh, the, the, the the move tool, I nearly forgot the name of the tool, the move tool, and drag that onto the template. Close down the original, and transform the new one. So the last one obviously has to fill up the last box, so let's move it in, like that, and one more. Zoom in nice and close. And we'll put these neatly in, 
particularly important on the ones where the images meet each other there's no sort of little gaps at all and I'm doing it quickly for speed here but try and get this right I can't emphasize that enough try and get this bit as neat as you can just take a moment or two to get it spot on click the tick and that makes the transformation happen okay there you go now you can see the cube taking shape as it were but we've got this kind of white area around it that's left over from the original template we need to ditch that part now we're going to do that by going to layers don't panic we're only going to do a tiny weeny bit with layers go up to window and choose layers what you can see are four separate layers but the one you want to be interested in is down the bottom the background layer and we're going to turn it off by clicking the eye and it's gone now we have a checkerboard pattern where we had the white before checkerboard pattern means that we have transparency we have nothing there come up to layer and choose merge visible and then we need a background now I've got this nice kind of autumnal sunset because it's uh, getting dark quite early now so there's a lot of good sunsets around for you to photograph and I'm just going to move it on same way as we did before with the move tool drag the new cube over and onto the sunset and then we can actually close down the cube we don't need it we can ditch it completely because we now have the cube in place on the final image now one cube looks good but three would be better so let's see what we can do about making some copies come up to layer choose duplicate layer and click OK now nothing seems to have happened but we've made a copy of the current layer which is our cube if we go to image transform free transform we get a little box popping up hold shift on the keyboard once again to keep everything proportional if I can hold shift it would be handy I'm holding shift there we go and we can get a nice proportional shape like that we can even twist it slightly as well and we can pop that up there like so I think we'll go smaller still there we are smaller shrink it down lovely round about there looks okay I'm gonna make sure they don't overlap at all when you're happy click the tick so now we have two cubes let's go for a third layer duplicate layer and then up to image transform free transform once again holding shift all the time to make things proportional and we'll pop that one up in the top corner and again we'll give it a spin like so click the tick and now we have three cubes on our final image as a little finishing touch I'm gonna to go back to those layers now we can see we have four layers once again I'm gonna drop the opacity of the top layer which is the smallest cube to about 50 percent the one underneath I'm going to click to make it active and drop the opacity of that one to about 75 percent and that gives a feeling of depth of recession in the image and there you go look at that there is our cube template transformed into an amazing 3d image